Well, tonight was the conclusion of a week of shows in the We Love NYC Homecoming concert. Some of music's biggest names performed to celebrate the city's comeback after being at the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic. CBS 2's Corey James is live out at Central Park where the concert happened and then ended up being canceled because of severe weather. Corey. Yeah, that's exactly right, Jessica. You can see the rain is still coming down pretty steady at this hour. We also saw some lightning not too long ago, but this concert was expected to last about five hours. Mother Nature, though, cut it short, only giving people about two and a half hours of entertainment. What was supposed to be a fun and long night for people at Central Park? Please seek shelter for your safety. And it's sooner than planned after lightning struck during Barry Manilow's performance. I just kept saying, no, no. Like, really, I'm kind of crazy about Barry Manilow, and I just, like, fought my way to the front. It forced event organizers to quickly end the We Love NYC homecoming concert, sending more than 22,000 concert goers who danced and partied on the green lawn home early Saturday night. Extremely frustrating. I was in denial. I said it's not over. I felt really upset. But before the severe weather touched down here, excitement could be seen and heard for many who waited months for this moment. Chopper 2 flying overhead, capturing the large crowd on the ground. This is the first concert we have. I mean, what, you know what I hear? I'm just happy to be out. I just bought a shirt. thought it would be a good way to uh, remember the day. It's just nice to celebrate being vaccinated, and even though cases are really high right now. And that is why this woman kept her face mask on. She tells CBS2 she had COVID before and does not want it again. It's just an extra precaution, so... You know, just to be sure. Still, despite the dangerous weather conditions that canceled the star studded show, New Yorkers who were able to make it out say it was worth every minute spent in line because for them it was more than seeing artists like Jennifer Hudson, Kane Brown, and Andrea Bocelli. The hip hop segment was amazing. <gasps> it was also a reminder of how far we have come since the start of the pandemic. It was nice to feel the energy of New York back. All about moving forward from 2021 to 2022. And there were some folks who stuck around hoping that once the weather permitted, the rain stopped, the lightning ended as well, that the concert would then start back up again. But that did not happen. In fact, you can see some of the trucks right behind us getting ready to pick up equipment at the Green Lawn here. Now, we also reached out to the city to see if any refunds potentially would be given to folks who bought those tickets, those VIP tickets that ranged hundreds to thousands of dollars so far, though. We have not heard back. But now we're live here at Central Park. Corey James, CBS 2 News. Well, even cut short, it seems like the concert did not disappoint, at least to the people you interviewed. All right. Thank you, Corey.